everyone, welcome or welcome back to another video. I'm Marie Bumhauer at gumagawa ako ng mga YouTube tips, tricks, and tutorials. So kaya kung naghahanap kayo ng mga YouTube tutorials just like this one, consider yourself subscribing, give this video a like, and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos. So for today's video guys, I'm going to show you on how you can add a white outline in your image for your thumbnail using Canva. So marami na din akong nakikita ang mga ganitong klase style na paggawa ng thumbnail from other YouTubers na may mga white outline doon sa kanilang mga image or objects. I haven't done this before. I never tried. And I've been using Canva since 2018 and I have no clue that I can actually do this as well with Canva. So today, I'm gonna give it a try. It's super easy to do guys and I'm gonna show you on how to do it exactly step by step. So stay tuned. Alright, so to get started, just go to canva.com and let's create a new design. So kung wala pa kayo mga Canva account, you don't have any account in Canva, go ahead to sign up. It's free and just give it a try. So now we're gonna create a new design by clicking this one. So create a design and choose the template that you like. So we are going to create YouTube thumbnail. Click on that and then from here, you're gonna choose whatever template that you like. So I'm going to choose, um, let's say this one. So this is for a pro member. So now I'm gonna go ahead and edit this one because I don't like what it looks like right now. So I delete lang natin na mag delete tayo. We are going to delete some elements that we have here on our screen. So I delete natin yan, bawasan natin. I want it to look like nice and clean. I don't like it when there's too many things going on on my YouTube thumbnail. And we're gonna move this over there. So, i-move lang natin sila dito sa, sa left. Mas maganda kasi guys kapag nasa left ang inyong mga, yung mga wordings. And, and then, yung inyong mga image naman, dapat yan ay nasa right side. It really depends. Basta, kailangan hindi natatakpan yung inyong mga wordings. So, now we have the image on the right side. You can actually adjust the image to however you want it. So, pwede natin siyang palakihin or paliitin. So, it really depends on how you want it to look like. And then, next is we are going to change the background. So, I'm gonna use the pink background for my thumbnail since I like using pink. So, it's it's kinda like my uh, theme for my thumbnail. I like using... Uh, pink color or light pink okay so for the sake of this video tutorials I'm gonna use this image that we have here but if you already have the image without the background you can upload it to Canva but for now let me just you know use this one next to add the white outline to your image tap on the image and then on the left side over here click natin yung edit image and then if you don't have the shadows on your Canva account, you have to add it to your Canva account and click on apply. So now I'm gonna hit shadows and then click blow. And then once it's done, just hit another one. So another click. So let's click another one. And then now, once you see this, go ahead and change this black into white because we're gonna use the white outline. And then you are going to uh, move this all the way to the end, yung ating blur. It's, it should be 0. And then transparency should be 100. And then this is going to be the size of your white outline. So it can be big. If you want it to look like big, really big. Or you want it just medium or small. It really depends on how you want it to look like. So once you're done and you decided what size of white outline that you like for your image, just go ahead and hit apply. And that's it. And you're done. So that's how simple and easy it is. I can actually change this one and you know, I can use my own image. So let me go ahead and choose um, one of my image here. So let's go to upload. This is the only image that I have here. I only have this one guys. So let me try. So this is the um, the one that I'm going to be using for my thumbnail. So let me try to use this one instead. Alright. 
then just tap on the image click on edit image again go to shadow hit on the blow and then click it one more time hit the baby one more time change the uh, color into white make sure your blur is all the way to zero your transparency is 100 see it's very very easy and then adjust the size of your outline you can make it big or i think number 12 is that's it that's how simple and easy it is Okay, so ayan, we're almost done. So, remind ko lang kayo guys, once na tapos na kayong mag-edit ng inyong mga image, and then, na-realize nyo na hindi nyo pala nagustuhan yung naging outcome ng inyong mga design, after nyo kasi na maklik itong glow at na-hit nyo na yung apply, hindi nyo na po yan ma-edit ulit. Pero, meron namang paraan. So, if you wanna make a change, i-click nyo lang ito guys, um, itong undo sa taas. Gawin nyo guys, i-undo nyo lang ito ng i-undo hanggang sa mawala yung white outline na inilagay nyo. And then after that, kapag nawala na yung white outline, pwede na kayo ulit na um, mag-umpisa na gawin ulit ito. Alright, so as you can see guys, I just created a new thumbnail design with white outline for the very first time. So, nag-add na rin ako dito ng mga words on the left side para mas maganda naman siyang tingnan. And this is the one that I'm gonna be using for my thumbnail for this video. So, so far, I like the combination of the colors and everything. It looks very, very nice and clean. And I know a lot of the YouTubers, they use this kind of style. And I think adding white outline to your image, it really helps the image to stand out. It looks more um, catchy and it looks more visible. I think that's one of the reasons why a lot of YouTubers are using this kind of style. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Sana nagustuhan nyo rin yung aking designs. So this is our Venus project for today. Hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a like and subscribe to my channel. So thank you so much guys for watching and see you on my next one. Bye!